Welcome back to our channel, Familia Garcia Mix. So guys, for today's video, I will be showing some of the solutions of the math problems encountered by Kuya Axel on their exam. Please be reminded that these solutions and answers are based solely on my own understanding of the problem. In reference to these questions, you may ask the right person like math major educator to guide you on this. Basically, my way of explaining this process is the usual thing I do in teaching my kids to make things easier for them to understand. This may or may not be the right answer. I am just giving the solution and explanation the best possible way I can to solve the concerned items of Kuya Axel. By the way, if you're new to our channel, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on our next video. And also, we ask your support on our main channel, Excel and Fire for GTV. Okay, thank you so much and God bless. Have a great day, everyone. Okay, let's start. Let's have this question number five. Twenty-five percent of what number is twelve? Okay, in this problem, let's represent the unknown data as x, or you can choose any letter as you wish. So in here, I will just choose uh, the unknown number as letter x, okay? Okay, I have these two methods in order to solve this problem. But first, let me choose the first one. This is a percent of a hundred. Okay, let's, I'll have, I'll show you the first method first. So, it is 25 over 100 times, let's have the representation of x is equal to 12. The next thing we'll do is to divide both sides by 25 over 100. And our new equation will be x is equal to 12 divided by 25 over 100. So, remember, when a number is divided by a fraction, we'll have to use its reciprocal. Or, we can simply cross-multiply that number. So, let's equate x is equal to 12 times 100 over 25. So, the answer will be x is equal to 48. Okay, the second method is using the PRB or the magic triangle formula. Okay, 25% here is our weight. A 12 is our percentage and the unknown here is our base since the word, the keyword is of, which is after that word is the base. Since our unknown here is the base, so let's have this formula. Base is equal to percentage over weight or B is equal to P over R. Let's substitute the given on our formula. So B is equal to 12 divided by 25% or 12 over 0.25. So why 0.25? Because we convert 25% into decimals. So in converting, we just have to move two decimal places to the left, okay? So let's compute. The value of RB here now is 48. So meaning whatever method you chose, as long as you're in the right track, you'll still have the same answer, okay? So let's have the second concern number, number 39. How many minutes do they consume in recess? So according to the schedule, Recess starts at 9.30 a.m. and ends at 10 a.m. So, so it, it needs 30 minutes in order to make it 10. Therefore, the student consume 30 minutes on their recess. We can just simply um, subtract 10 a.m. and 9.30, okay? Sorry, that's the easiest way I can teach to my child. The next concern number is number 45. The question is, Mrs. Villamore is going to Dubai to meet her husband who is working in a hospital as a doctor. She will leave the Philippines at 2.15 p.m. The duration of her flight will be 4 hours and 20 minutes. 
If she arrived at 2.35 p.m. in Dubai's time, how many hours is the time difference of the two countries? Okay, our solution process will be, let's determine the departure time of Mrs. Villamore, which departs from the Philippines at 2.15 p.m. So this is our starting time. The flight duration is 4 hours and 20 minutes. And the arrival time in Dubai is 2.35 p.m. So this is Dubai time. So we have to calculate the arrival time in the Philippines. To find the time difference, we need to determine when she will have to arrive in the Philippines based on the flight duration. So adding 4 hours and 20 minutes to her departure time, 2.15 p.m. gives us 6.35 p.m. Philippine time. Okay, now let's calculate the time difference of those countries. Philippine time 6.35 p.m. This is the arrival time. And then the arrival time in Dubai is 2.35 p.m. What we did here is we subtract 2.35 from 6.35 p.m. So we got 4 hours time difference in these two different countries. The next concern number is number 46, and the question is, Mark has a busy day planned today. He will meet his friend James at the arcade. That is 15-minute walk from home. They will stay at the arcade for 1 hour and 30 minutes. They will take 10-minute walk to the park. The first thing they will do there is to grab a hot dog from Gilbert's hot dog truck. If Mark left at home at 10 a.m., what time will he and James got in the line for the hot dog? So first, let's determine the time duration of the travel and the time they spent in the arcade. So first, let us determine the time spent of Mark and James. So in the arcade, they spent 1 hour and 30 minutes. And the walk to the arcade takes 15 minutes. And the walk from the arcade to the park is 10 minutes. So the total travel will be 15 minutes plus 10 minutes, which will give us 25 minutes. So the total time before reaching the hot dog stand is... Let's add 1 hour and 30 minutes, which they spend at the arcade, plus the total time travel, which is 25 minutes. So which will give us... 1 hour and 55 minutes. So if Mark leaves at home at 10 a.m., then we have to add 1 hour and 55 minutes. Therefore, Mark and James will arrive at the stand, hot dog stand, at 11.55 a.m. Therefore, the answer is 11.55. So that's it. These are the questions I was able to identify or answer in but he still has another question or concern regarding number 20 to 23 i think the figure is circle and he was confused about the given so it's okay i tried to ask um some informations or details about the figure but unfortunately I was not able to get some, so it's okay. So, thank you so much for watching, and God bless. Please support our main channel, Excellent 5 g 2 Have a great day, everyone.